nerds! Hi Yogis! Carleen Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are going to do a slow wake-up flow. So some poses to get your body um, woken up and ready for the day. One of the best things that you can do for your body right when you wake up is actually to get movement in your spine. That's why we do a lot of those big morning stretches and you know kind of that thing when we're in bed because we're trying to get movement into our spine which then creates movement and energy in the rest of our body. So obviously you probably don't want to do this in bed, but in the mornings after you've gotten out of bed, kind of woken up, maybe had some water, you can definitely do this flow or you can do it at any time during the day if you want to get a little bit more energy for whatever you're going to do. Uh, feel free to stay in this easy seat. If you want, you can also come into an ankle to knee pose. This is one of my favorite ways to warm up uh, because we start stretching our hips, start getting into our lower body without having to really work at it. Um, so just have your uh, bottom foot rested on the earth, top foot uh, in line, ankles and knees. Again, don't need to worry about pressing down. We're not focused on stretching this. We're just letting our body naturally open up here. Uh, you can put pillow, blanket, anything like that to create more support. Support, But I do want you to uh, roll your sits bones back, create space, really grounding into the earth with your sits bones, sitting up tall, and we'll start with some gentle breathing and spinal movement. So inhale, we are going to do our Mula Bandha breath. So inhaling to your low belly, your pelvic floor in a 360 direction and exhale, squeeze all of that air in and up, exhaling through your nose, inhale here, exhale. Controlling your breath is such a great way to control what type of energy you want. So if you're trying to get more energy, if you're trying to relax, anything like that, Controlling your breath really gives you a lot of control over that. So right now we're trying to breathe prana and energy into our body. So that's kind of the intention that we have as we do this breath. Exhale. From here we'll start adding that spinal twist. So just as you inhale, exhale, twisting to the right. Now we're not going to yank with our arms, anything like that. The twist is coming from the obliques, coming from your core and side body. And then from here, you can rest your hands um, on your knee, on the floor, just to create some more length in the spine and make sure you don't start slouching. And you can complete the spinal twist by looking over your shoulder. But again, it's just a gentle spinal twist here. We, you know, you can, be here if that's where you're at. So wherever you're comfortable, our body's not super warmed up. It's not awake yet. So we're not gonna press it to go farther or as deep as we might go after we've been warmed up. We're waking up right now. Good, and come back to center. Now from here, left leg is going to extend long towards, uh, towards the side of your mat. You can bend your elbow here, right arm will extend over your ear, and a nice side body stretch on the right side, but really making sure that you're grounding your right hip into the earth. You don't want to be lifting up off of the ground. Right hip stays onto the earth, and you can have your left arm straighter or bent more depending on where you can stay in this stretch without lifting your hips off the ground. Couple more breaths here. And then from here, do a little bit of a counter stretch. So facing your left leg this time, now we're doing a bit more of a twist. So twisting towards the earth, and then folding over your legs. And, but again, keeping that right hip grounded towards the earth, not lifting up off of the ground. Doing these twisting motions is great for our digestive system as well, which of course is a really good thing to wake up in the morning. And from here, holding that pose, kind of wherever your capacity and your low capacity is, and coming over your legs, inhale here, long spine, and just wave over your legs, seeing if you can take that stretch just a little bit deeper. 
and we're not working on stretching our legs, just waving over them. And making your way back to center, and from here, swap leg on top, whether you're in your easy seat or ankle to knee pose. So resetting up your uh, position here, your seated position, grounding into the earth with your sits bones, reaching up tall through the crown of your head, and focusing on that Mula Bandha breath again. Waking up and bringing energy into our body. And as you exhale, uh, think about almost like you're trying to fog up a window or a mirror, but you're exhaling through your nose instead of your mouth. Instead of going, ah, you're doing that same kind of motion, but with your mouth closed. That's our victorious breath. That's our ujjayi. So we want that victorious sound, especially as we're starting out the day. So make sure to kind of think about you are bringing victory to yourself as well while we're waking up. And then from here, starting that spinal movement again. So this time twisting to the left side. Remember to maintain that length in your spine. Twist is coming from your core. And then you can add your hands. It could be on the ground, on your leg, here, wherever is comfortable for you, as long as you're not yanking your spine to twist you deeper. They're just helping remind you to extend tall through the crown of your head. Last couple of breaths here. And coming back to center. Now this time extending right arm long. Really think about grounding into the earth with your left hip as your left arm extends over your ear. And you can play with this stretch too. If you want to go deeper, if you want to stay sitting up a little bit higher, that can vary from day to day. That can vary from side to side. <laughs> you know, it's always going to be a little bit different. So you want to find that edge of stretch for you this morning, as long as you're maintaining grounding into the earth with your hip. You can look towards your arm, you can look towards the floor whatever comfortable neck stretch you, you're feeling this morning. Last breath here, you're gonna start rotating towards the ground now. So still maintaining that long spine, just twisting so that your chest is facing the earth. Left hip is still grounded into the mat. Wave your spine long. And find where your fold is. One more breath here, and then staying low to whatever um, you know level your fold of that. Now you want to stay there, and then walk yourself forward over your front legs. Inhale, wave your spine. Doing some nice inhale and exhale waving motion. Roll yourself back up to sit. Very nice. We'll take our spinal movement a little bit deeper now on our hands and knees. So coming to hands and knees position, strong palms here. We'll do some cat cow. So inhale. Exhale, big round your spine. Inhale, your arch. Exhale. You'll notice I'm bending my elbows here, creating a lot of space for this movement. And still maintaining that Mula Bandha breath. And letting that breath control the cat cow motion here. Very nice. Now our spines move, of course, in quite a few directions, not just arching. So you can go from side to side if you want. Start getting your spine moving in all directions. You can do some circles with your spine. 
circling one way, circling the other. Take a yogi's choice moment to do some little dancing motions with your spine. You can even, you know, move back and forth. Whatever feels good for you. You want movement in your spine in the morning. So find those areas of tension, whether it was from a weird sleeping position or maybe something you're stressed about coming for the day. Anything that you have kind of stuck in your spine, in your body, take a moment now to just work it out, finding that yogi's choice, very dance-like, very wave-like motion. And from here, coming back to center, long spine, extending tall through the crown of your head. Uh, from here, you'll want to tuck your toes under and give yourself a little bit more stability. And you're going to inhale, right arm comes to the sky. Exhale, thread it under your left arm, but hover over the mat for just a second. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. This time, resting your arm on the mat. You can tend your fingertips here and press away from the earth. Maintaining that length in your spine as you get this added stretch for your neck and your shoulders. Really moving our spine in all directions as we wake up today. Exhale. Firmly plant your left hand. Come back to center. We'll do that on the other side. So right arm is planted firmly into the earth. Left arm extends. Exhale. Exhale, threading under but hovering over the floor. Exhale. Last time, this time as you exhale, come to rest on that shoulder and arm. Really reaching long with your spine. Content your fingertips and press away from the earth if you want a bit more of a twist. that for one more breath. Try to maintain that mula bundle breath as we're doing these movements. And from here, you're going to inhale, prepare, exhale, press yourself back to a down dog. Really bent knees. Obviously, we're not warmed up yet. And then pedal out your feet. And from here, just walk your feet towards your hands. Deep bend in your knees. We're still warming up. Obviously, we're still getting to our legs. So start with really bent knees. Wave your spine long. And then from there, you can come to that first edge of stretch, which in the morning, probably not very straight. That's okay. Still warming up our body. You can wave your spine back and forth. You can sway, moving from one side to the other. Inhale, exhale, do that waving motion again. Body loves that waving motion and it's a great way to just indicate that you're starting to wake up, you're starting to get your energy moving. And from here, sit back into your heels, bend your knees really deep. Inhale, prepare, and exhale. You're gonna roll yourself up to stand. Inhale, arms extend overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center in your namaste or Anjali Mudra. And we're going to do a couple of Qigong inspired moves to finish getting our energy kind of moving through our body and activate our breath a little bit more. So come, uh, feet can be about hip bone distance apart. They can be a little bit wider, whatever is gonna be more comfortable for you for this. But make sure not to lock your knees. You wanna have a slight bend in your knees. We're going to do a movement called knocking on the door of life. So you'll have that bend in your knees and you're just gonna start twisting from your hips and above and start letting your arms sway and swing back and forth and they're going to start knocking on the pressure points here across your low back and your low abdomen. 
Those pressure points are known for giving us energy, helping us cultivate our life force. So of course it's a great thing to do in the morning to knock on that area and get that energy flowing. You can stay here or you can take a step farther and start moving your arms up your body and just kind of let your arms do their thing. You're not really trying to control your arms. They are just swinging free. They can come up and start knocking on the areas by your neck and shoulders, getting that energy moving up and down your whole spine into your neck. Again, keeping those knees nice and loose, bent knees. And you can start bringing your arms back down. And as we get here, just start gently coming out of this way, letting your arms start to hang naturally again by the side of your body. And just take a moment to kind of feel that energy, that movement now that we've cultivated that's probably tingling a little bit through your body. We'll do one more movement here, a uh, tiger breath. So you're going to inhale, reach up, exhale. You're going to start sitting back into your heels, back into your sits bones. You don't want your knees coming in front of your toes. You really want to sit back. And this isn't about going really low. This is just about getting that breath and that life force movement. So you don't have to worry about going all the way to the earth. Just inhale. And as you exhale, palms face away from you. Inhale. And this is another Qigong breath. You stimulate and cultivate your energy. When we combine it with our Mula Bandha breath, we're really activating our prana, our breath, our life force. Last one here. This time as you inhale, exhale, hands come to heart center. Your Namaste Anjali Mudra. Just take a couple of breaths standing here feeling all of that energy that you created just from doing some spinal movement and some breath work. Sometimes that is all you need in the morning to get that energy flowing, get you ready for the day. So I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned some things that you can take from that, that you can use, whether it's in the mornings or any time that you need a little bit of a pick me up. Uh, definitely make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel, of course, so you get notified when we have the new videos and got exclusive content for you on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list. Make sure that you are signed up there below. I look forward to seeing you next week. Namaste.